Hello, and welcome back to a short episode of Let's Play Ultima 6, The False Prophet. As you may remember in my previous episode, I discussed some of the problems I was having with my video recording software. Well, I resolved those problems, but there were still some things that I did that never got recorded, and I need to go ahead and show you those things before we go get back to, to our uh, quest. One of those things was actually freeing the Shrine of Sacrifice. So let's head over there now, and we'll take care of that. So to go ahead and do that, we're going to go ahead and use our Orb of the Moons, as usual. Place it two steps to the south and two steps to the east. That's going to take us to the town of Minoc. Alright, so we're out here in the wilderness. Let's go ahead and rest for the night. Until the daytime comes. Let's try resting for about five hours or so. We'll have the uh, Avatar stand guard. Okay, the sun's up, so let's head uh, down towards that shrine. Now, if you have a copy of the Ultima 6 map available, as I always say, um, either through Google or if you happen to own one of the cloth maps that came with the original game, you'll know that the uh, town of Minoc is located uh, to the northwest of a forest. And then to the southeast of that forest is a desert. So we know from previous, uh, previous episodes, this path leads us to the town of Minoc. So let's keep heading east into the forest. We're gonna go ahead and follow this path through the forest. As you can see, the path is not in very good shape. Uh, this swamp has overgrown it, and it's in disrepair. Oh my, a hydra! Well, let's go ahead and get to battle and deal justice to this foul creature. Not sure why none of the other... There they go. Alright, let's continue on our way here. For a second there, I was wondering why none of the other party members were joining in the fight. Uh, for some reason, I guess they just weren't close enough yet. Alright, now if we keep following this path down, it's going to eventually lead, if you look at the map, all the way around to another forest, but it's not going to really go the way we need it to go. We need to look for an opening in these mountains here that will lead us into the desert. This might be it. Ah, and here we are. We finally reached the desert. Alright, so let's go ahead and look for that shrine. If I remember correctly, in a previous episode while we were exploring this desert, uh, we did stumble across the shrine. Oh, there it is. But we had to run away because of the gargoyles. We weren't able to defeat them at that time. And look, there are those gargoyles. But, right now, they're not going to attack us because the Avatar is wearing... the Amulet of Submission. So, there's nothing to stop us from just going up here and freeing the shrine. Let's go to Shamino's uh, inventory here. We're going to use... the Rune of Sacrifice, and the Mantra of Sacrifice, as we all may remember that we learned earlier is Ka. Done! Shavano, go ahead and grab that rune, and we'll move that into our rune bag. Fantastic! We now have one, two, three, four, five of the Moonstones. Now, according to the quest that the Codex gave us, we will eventually need all eight of those Moonstones. So we still have three more uh, three more shrines to free, but luckily we have we have obtained all of those runes in our travels. We just need to go free those shrines, which shouldn't be too hard because of that amulet of submission that the Avatar has. All right, well let's go ahead and very quickly head back to the Isle of the Avatar, where we can, so we can leave off where we uh, where we started. We put that moonstone one step to the south and one to the east. I'm 
sure why it's not letting me uh, go back into party mode here. Oh, somehow Bellum got left far behind. Now, I'm not sure how that happened. It's a bit of an interesting bug in the game. Alright, but now everybody's here, we can go back into party mode, and we can go ahead and create that moon, uh, that moon gate again. Shamino, uh, you know what to do. Okay, the party will go through. And we're back at the Shrine of the Codex where we, uh, left off last time. Alright, now that I've done everything that I uh, had done previously that didn't get recorded, now, now that I've brought you all up to speed, I'll go ahead and I'm going to restore my previous save game. The save game with my party as they currently are, having visited the Shrine of Singularity, having freed the Shrine of Sacrifice, and having gotten our final quest to go ahead and bring peace back to Britannia. And that's what I'll do next time. In our next episode, we finally get back to it. I'll see you then.